Good morning, everyone. Excuse me. I just woke up. It is 5.18. Um, I set my alarm for 5, and then I press snooze, and then I make it go to 5.15. When I was still pumping in the morning, I'd have to get right up, but now that we've completely weaned off of pumping, I'm not sure if I've said that on here, because I haven't posted a video in forever, um, we have officially weaned off of breast milk. Um, it was just, I wasn't making enough stressing me out it was just time he's gonna be nine months old on thursday the 24th anyway so i just made the executive decision that it was time um to wean off of that so i'm gonna do a day in the life of a working mom today i've been meaning to do this forever and now that i'm done pumping i have like extra time um because in the evening you know you have to pump I had to clean all the parts because I needed them for work the next day. It was just a lot. So, oh, excuse me. That's how my arm feels. I got the, I don't know if like I'll get flagged for talking about it, you know, the third shot. Uh, and um, my arm was so sore yesterday. I felt like crap yesterday. So I'm so glad I don't feel like that today. But it's Tuesday. I was off Monday yesterday because of President's Day. So what I first do in the morning is I drink some water, make my coffee, and pack up Bennett's stuff for the day and my stuff for the day, like food-wise. I still put collagen in my coffee. I need to get to Costco for the big one. My sister, I ran out of the big one. My sister gave me this because I don't know why she stopped using it. I think she's like fully vegan now. I guess this is not vegan at all. Um, so my coffee has the collagen. And then I do monk fruit, same coffee, guys, that I've always had. And then to balance out, like, the sugar, I do a little bit of this creamer and a little bit of this because I love this. But the ingredients are a little bit better than this. And it's just a yummy combination. So this is just my first cup of coffee. And now I'm going to get um, my lunch together and Bennett stuff packed up. So I'm just popping up here. If you look in the background, my house is never clean. I'm not one of those perfect YouTube moms. You'll know that if you've been here a long time. Even before I was a mom, I'm not a perfect house cleaned YouTuber at all. Um, what was I just gonna say? So I was tracking my food um, when I, I was doing the Madeline Moves Tighter Together Challenge. Um, I did really good at tracking for like the first two weeks. Um, I've been consistently working out, which feels great. Um, the tracking just is not something that I'm good at anymore. If you've been following me for a long time, you've probably found me through Weight Watchers. And um, I used to be really good at tracking my food. Um, but ever since doing the Whole30 a few years ago, I just... It's just a lot. So, my goal today was to start tracking my food again. Um, I was... my macros were different when I was nursing so I used an online macro calculator and kind of adjusted them a little bit to like how I know they used to be it's just you know I've been doing this a long time I kind of can like guess things myself a little bit all right I can't really chat um, so <coughs> with that being said I don't really have time to show you guys like me tracking my food and I usually don't track it as I'm packing my food, which I probably should because then I could probably gauge things better, whatever, but I'll show you guys what I'm packing. I do do a lot of prep for like Bennett the night before, especially when I was um, preparing breast milk bottles, but now that he's just getting formula, I already can put it in the container. We've been using um, Earth's organic, Earth's best organic formula. Um, I really loved 
Similac Organic. Um, the ingredients were just a tad cleaner. It, they didn't have palm oil, but it was getting increasingly harder to find that, and they did not have it available on Amazon for auto ship. Um, and I was gonna do the Bobby formula that um, recently, it's like new, but it's, it's a little pricey. Um, and the ingredients are almost identical to Similac Organic, but um, I just have this auto shipped from Amazon and I'm glad that I wasn't doing Similac because of the recall recently. So everything works out, right? <laughs> um, so I have his, I made him like overnight oats for this week, well, for I don't know how many mornings, um, for, for him. So he just has oatmeal in here, coconut milk, cinnamon, almond butter, and um, cheese seeds. Um, so we are doing like my own form of baby led weaning. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna pack him up this, and then my mom, he goes to my mom's on Tuesdays, we'll make him like an egg for lunch with some fruit or he really loves peanut butter toast with some fruit and she keeps all that stuff there so I usually just like pack up breakfast. In my sandwich I love this bread from Aldi. Um, it's kind of funny that um, after having a baby gluten doesn't really affect me like it used to. I, I don't know did it reset my body? I don't know but I just have um, some oatmeal on the ham some ham and some cheese um, and then put that in my lunch bag I have a um, pear for myself and then for Bennett um, see I do I still do some pouches just because he loves them um, this 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 <laughs> and then we need a bottle I am lazy and we put everything in the dishwasher, so <laughs> let's see, pack up this. I still use glass bottles just because I'm psycho about plastic and even if it's BPA and you warm them up, the chemicals get through, I'm just too psychotic. So <laughs> we are still using glass bottles, my mom keeps badgering me when he's switching to plastic so he could try himself. Guess what mom, he tried the little one himself yesterday. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is all I'll pack for him to go to my mom's and then my measly little lunch and now I'm going to fill up my water bottles and make my smoothie. I'm also going to add um, a baby bell cheese for my lunch. Um, I don't know why I can't find cheese sticks anywhere. I feel like the world has had like the weirdest shortages. Like Rob and I love the cheese sticks from Aldi and they have not had them for months now. And I went to Target also and they did not have them. So, I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, they legit didn't have any cheese sticks. We love cheese sticks. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, but I use this <laughs> to put ice in, to put in my water bottles. I'm being very detailed. <laughs> I bring two water bottles because we don't have like a filtered water. Um, at my old school, they had um, water bottle filling stations, and at this school, they don't have that. So I pack two water bottles, um, and then I will make my smoothie. I think I said that already, because it's only 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> okay, so here's my smoothie. I've got, I just, I don't even measure. I'm going to guess like three quarters of a cup of blueberries, um, a few strawberries. I think there's four in here, or five. Um, I've got some coconut milk. This is actually empty. Um, this is the protein that I've been using. It's like an organic form of the Vega vanilla greens that I was loving. I found this and I love that um, it's organic. Um, so I have a scoop of that and then I top it with even more spinach and this will be my breakfast. Once I blend this up, I will go get myself dressed. I just heard Mr. Bennett. Let's hope he's not awake yet. He's just moving around. Oh, wait till you see him guys. I can't wait for him to wake up. Oh, he's just the best baby that ever lived. <laughs> oh, I could stare at him on here all day if I was allowed. But, I mean, once he wakes up. Oh, I just love it. He's the best. He doesn't like when I turn the lights on. I'm so sorry, lovely Lulu. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
end up over here? A bin. Good morning. Good morning, honey. Oh, you're the squishiest, gooeyest. Hi. Good morning. Oh, you got the wubby wub. I just, I just put everything in the car. Hi. Hi, honey bear. Okay, let's get you out of this. So now I put him in his jacket. Well, first we change his diaper. And then we head right in the car to go to Momom's house. It is 6.20ish, 6.22. Sometimes he wakes up earlier. Sometimes I've got to wake him up. I thought he'd be uh. up. You want the binger bink? You want the binger bink? <laughs> Come here, good boy. Oh. What are you saying? Say good morning. Benny. Hi. Hi, good boy. You're the best boy that ever lived. You're the best boy that ever lived. Mm, he's not going to have attention issues. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change his diaper now and get him in the car seat. All right, it is 6.26 and we are on our way. I pre-pack his diaper bag the night before with a bajillion outfits. I usually pack it for like two days ahead, um, just in case. Honestly, the grandparents have diapers, wipes, extra clothes and all that stuff at their house anyway, but I just have it in there anyway. Um, I made another cup of joe and now we're off. So I take Bennett to my mom's Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays because I like to see my mom. And honestly, the struggle with Rob and I right now are sharing Bennett duties. I rather Rob do other duties and I like to do the Bennett duties. Uh, <laughs> so we're working on those things. But anyway, and then Rob, since he's home in, in the winter, he picks up Bennett early. Um, the grandparents didn't really wanna give him up, so um, he still goes. And then Rob picks him up early. Um, which I'm gonna be sad when that's over next month because it's so nice to be home by 3.15. Um, but anyway, I listened to an audiobook on my way. I'm obsessed. Um, right now I'm listening to Colleen Hoover's Heart Bones. I'm like doing two books at once. I'm listening to Heart Bones and I am reading Verity, if that's how you say it. So I hope I don't get myself all confused, but I've been reading at lunch. I'll talk to you guys more later. We gotta go and get to my mom's house. Drop Bennett off, Harpoons just got really good if you haven't read that book. Um, hold on, let me get to the stop sign. So now it is 7.05, and now this is when I have my protein shake. Um, I don't eat it right away. So, I still have my coffee, and now we are off to work. Oh, it's such a Monday-like Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure if I shared on here exactly how stressful being a first time preschool teacher. This is not like a fun preschool. This is a state funded preschool. So there are so much expectations. There's a lot of struggles. Um, I lost my mouse. So I'm just holding you down here so I don't, um, you know, get distracted. It's like I'm just talking while holding something. Um, I don't know if I've discussed the stress of it so I did mention on YouTube not YouTube Instagram let me see if I can just prop this up that you know I always thought I wanted to be a teacher I always thought early childhood preschool is like my dream job they being a first-time teacher and a new mom after and during like a pandemic and after like kids have been virtual so much it's just not a good time to be starting is what I'm trying to say um, I also don't think that this is the right school for me. I always thought preschool is the right thing for me, but I need more structure and it's very child led, which is great. Um, but I have some kids that cannot write their names yet and they're supposed to be going to kindergarten next year. And if the children aren't interested in doing that, we can't force them to do it. So it's kind of like, I need more structure in my life. This is a great, great first experience for me as like a learning experience. I am learning so much and it's really testing me. And I'm just, I'm a very let's think positive kind of person. I'm, oh, people know me as like, I try to turn anything into a positive situation. Going through all my infertility and all my therapy, I have turned into like the queen of positivity. So 
that's how I'm taking it. Like this is a great first experience for me. I'm learning so much. But if I'm not stuck here, but if I'm here another year, that's okay. I'm gonna try my hardest not to be. <laughs> um, once jobs start opening up for the fall of next year, um, so we'll see. It's just a lot. So every day at the end of the day, I'm just so grateful that another day has gone by. I'm so excited to get to Bennett. I have to pick up Bennett today because Rob only has his truck. Because I think I said this morning he was taking his car to get fixed. Back in the fall, a car bumped into him and like crushed his hood. And he has, um, it's been like such a backup with parts and everything. I don't know. It's been such a holdup. So that's finally in the shop to get fixed, but he only has this pickup truck. And I know that like technically infants can sit in the front seat of a pickup truck. I'm just, it makes me too nervous. So um, tomorrow he's gonna try to get his dad's car to borrow. So I'm just gonna pick him up. So my positive thought of that is I get to have an extra hug from my mom and you know, Rob's gonna cook dinner. That was like our compromise. So he's not really the best at cooking dinner. So we'll see what he creates. And um, I'm gonna go get Bennett. But first I'm gonna stop and get a cup of coffee. My thought process before though, this is my ADD, oh my God. My ADHD has never been more worse in my life also. Um, I have a check-in with my psychiatrist in a few weeks and I'm really nervous to do any kind of medication for my ADHD because addiction runs in my family and I'm just, I'm very, I'm very aware of, you know, medications and stuff it drives me like I'm very nervous but anyway I was on Ritalin and Adderall up until high school with my ADHD um, and ever since college I've kind of just like worked through it but being a mom and a teacher it's kind of like I sometimes I stand in the classroom and I'm like what was I supposed to do next today I was so scattered I wanted to cry because I was just like I had the piece of paper I needed I could not remember for the life of me where I put it I'm just like my brain is constantly like tangled up and I'm constantly trying to like untangle it almost. So that part of the job is what's stressful as well. So back in December, I kind of had like my wits end. December was a rough month for my class, for my student. It was just a rough month for me in school. Luckily, life outside of school is fantastic. But school life has been very hard. So I was like, maybe I just need to go back to being a nanny. I loved nanny life. It was just my favorite kind of job. So I actually interviewed with a family, but it turns out post COVID and all of this stuff, nannying isn't the same anymore either. Um, people don't want you taking their kids anywhere. Totally understandable. Parents are working from home. I don't know if I want to go back to working till six o'clock. I'd have to work summers. I just, you know, it was just like an eye opening experience that maybe that's not for me anymore either. So I'm just like trying to figure out if this is just not the right school for me. I don't know. I kind of feel like limbo what I want to do. But um, I'm at Duncan. I need myself a cup of joe. All right, work out done. We've been home since 4.30. It's 5.44. Say hello. Um, that was a really good workout. I did um, half hour on the elliptical and then I did a 30 minute Madeline Moves um, workout. I'm obsessed with that app. If you guys want something good to work out at home, I think you can do it at the gym too. We say Bennett's still in jammies. Sometimes my mom calls it a jammy day and he stays in jammies all day. And guess what, that's okay with me. Um, so Rob to make tacos for dinner. Um, Bennett's obviously not gonna have that. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna um, feed him. So I popped a few of these in the air fryer for Bennett. He absolutely loves them and I love the ingredients in them. I only wish that they were organic, but you know, still simple and he loves them. He goes crazy for them. So I turned my tacos into a taco salad with a little yellow rice. And this little piglet is loving these. This is how I give him water because he hasn't figured out the straw yet. I just um, feed him like a gerbil. Here you go. You want some water? Go ahead. He loves it. Here you go, you want some more? <laughs> Here, sweetheart. Go ahead. Oh, you're getting sweepy sweeps? This is a little later than he usually eats. That was a huge bite. That was a huge bite. Bennett's room is in a constant state of disaster because it's on the first floor, so we play in here a lot. 
He's trying to work on his crawling. He's basically just army crawling. Bennett, come to mama. Bennett, come on. Come to mama. <laughs> come here, baby. Bennett. Bennett, look. Come get it. Come on. Come on. Come get it. Look. What else we got? Come on, show us your crawling. Oh, 200 said in the truck. Um, it is about 6.35. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to delay bedtime by like 10 or 15 minutes because he sleeps like 12 hours um, from whenever he goes to bed. And tomorrow's Wednesday. And he goes to my mother-in-law, so it's closer. Um, and Rob takes him, so we get to sleep in a little bit. So I try to keep him up a little bit. He only took a 15-hour nap. 15 hour. <laughs> Could you imagine? A 15-minute nap um, on the way home from my mom's. So I have a feeling he might fall asleep during his bottle. But what I do in that case, because Bennett is the easiest, best baby ever, I will pick him up before I go to bed and try to get some more into him. But he doesn't seem very tired right now. So, I mean, there's a chance that he might finish it. We'll see. Um, so, since the bag, I pre-packed it for two days worth and my mom didn't even change his clothes. This is good to go. Um, I'm obsessed with this diaper bag. Go get it, Bennett. Ooh, look at you trying. I love this army crawl. Come here, baby boy. Bennett. Yay! Bennett. Yay! Do yay! He's been clapping. Bennett. Too distracted. I can't take him. I gotta put the camera down because I just want to eat him. Um, so once I turn the camera off, I'm going to do bedtime. Um, I put the humidifier on. We read a book. And then we do bottle. And then he goes in his crib. Bennett, say night night. Say yay! Bennett. Bennett, say yay. Is that the puppy dog? Is that our good boy, Brown? Say yay! Yay! I love you. Bennett, I love you. He's like, you are so annoying, lady. Guess what? I'm gonna be annoying your whole life. The whole bottle and he didn't fall asleep. Well, almost the whole bottle. All right, so. It's 7.02. I am going to take a shower and start getting ready for tomorrow. So like I pack up um, a bunch of stuff for tomorrow. But first, I need to shower. So I'm showered. I do not dry my hair at night. I just feel like why he do an extra thing so I just set my coffee maker for the morning I make sure I do that every single night because it's just so nice to wake up to the smell of fresh joe by the way does anybody else call it a cup of joe people keep thinking I'm so strange because like I legit say cup of joe I think it's a me and my sister thing I don't know um, saving Rob puts dinner away and does the dishes, but he doesn't do the dishes like at a time I want him to do the dishes and this is what I'm working on. He gets them done, but it's 8.24 now and he's upstairs watching a show and he's like, I'll get it done, don't worry. And he does, but I just wish he could get it done now, but you know, <laughs> little things. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> refill this. So I have the formula all ready to go. I want to get smaller containers of this to have in my mom's and my mother-in-law's. This is a 32 ounce container. I just, I have, since I've been getting them like on um, auto ship, I have a bunch, but I don't want to leave like this big of a container open at their house. I think that one container is only good for 30 days. Um, I think. I'm not, don't quote me on that. Um, so I don't really want to have like this big of a container open at their house. So I'm trying to see if I can find like one that's like half the size. I'm sure I can. I just literally looked at Target once this weekend <laughs> now that we're full formula. Um, what else did I do? His oatmeal is already in a container. 
Um, my mother-in-law does not have puffs at her house, so Bennett likes to have these just as like something to keep him busy. It's those like organic happy baby puffs. Um, my mother-in-law does not feel comfortable with him feeding himself at all. It's on my face. Um, so like she likes to give him the oatmeal. She likes to give him a pouch. My mom does too. My mom will let him feed himself. My mother-in-law is too scared of choking. She's okay with these because of the hole in the middle and they dissolve right in his mouth. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm just so grateful that we have our family watching him. So whatever they're comfortable with, I'm okay with. Um, the oatmeal is good. She likes to feed him that. And then I will send an egg for her to scramble up because she feels like it's mushy enough she could just feed it to him um or I will send a half of an avocado and a banana Bennett loves mashed avocado and banana and I'm trying to chunk him up I mean he's perfectly healthy the way he is but I would, he's so tall for his age that like his weight is in the lower percentile than his height and I know none of it matters but I love a chunky baby, so I'm trying to stuff him up with um, like healthy fats. In his oatmeal, it has almond butter. Uh, I'm gonna give him, you know, he eats a lot of avocado. Um, those bites from Aldi have oil in them. I'm just trying to chunk him up. He's fine though, I think. I mean, the doctor doesn't have any concerns. He is snoozing away. Yes, he sleeps with a lovey. He has been forever, and now he loves it. We have two loveys, um, so that like once one gets gross, I could pop it in the wash, and he's already used to the other one. I love, he plays with like the little, I don't know who invents these loveys, but it's like they know babies like the little nubs on them, because they're all over, and he, ugh, I can't. Like when he's putting himself to sleep, watching him like play with the little nubbins, it melts my heart. Like, oh, my heart. You know like when you're so excited for something, your heart just goes, ooh. That's how I feel at the end of every work day. Just like, I can't wait to get home and sniff and squish Bennett. <sighs> like, I can't wait for morning already. I, if you, I think during my pregnancy videos, I shared with you guys, like, my biggest worries about being a new mom. And one of my biggest worries was lack of sleep. And obviously the first few weeks were rough. And obviously I know I'm lucky that Bennett has slept through the night since forever but I love and I don't think I'd love this if it was any different if like he woke up all the time but I secretly love when he wakes up in the middle of the night and needs the cuddles and I also wonder if like I appreciate that more because I'm a working mom and I'm not with him all day again I can't ever I don't know like the difference because I've been a working mom since he was three months old so I appreciate every I think I would have appreciated every moment I, other way, either way, because of everything we went through. I don't know. I feel like I'm the most grateful mother in the entire world. I just love him so much. <sighs> but it is 8.30. I am charging up my Kindle so I can read a little bit before bed. Um, I'm good to go now that I don't have to pump. Back when I was pumping, I would have to clean the parts, pump, clean them again, put them away for tomorrow. It's just like saved like 45 minutes to an hour of my night. It was just time for us. I was so nervous to come to that decision because I'm like an all in kind of person. I'm either all in or all out. And so like going from fully breast milk to having to supplement, I had to like mentally get there. And then I had to like mentally get myself, it took me forever to get to the point where I was like, okay, it's time to end this. And last Sunday, was it last Sunday? The 13th. Yes, last Sunday the 13th. Um, I was, I planned our last nursing session. I was like, this is gonna be it. I'm gonna hold him, have my good cry, and just take pictures of it, and just like have that last moment. And he was biting my nipple. <laughs> because he has a little dude. So I'm like, this is totally it. I was like, this is my sign that this is meant for us to do. So I stopped the afternoon pump. And then I was just, I stopped the morning and the afternoon pump. First I stopped, I'm so sorry, my brain. So the week of the 7th, February 7th, we ended up being virtual for the second half of the week because of um, so many staff members had tested positive and they got nervous. It turns out 
all the positive tests were fake, long story. Um, so I was like, this is it. I'm gonna stop the afternoon pump just in case I'm in any pain, I'm home. It is what it is. And then last week, the beginning of the week, I dropped the morning pump and I did that for a few days of just the evening pump. And then I stopped the evening pump. And then I think Saturday morning, it hurt so bad that I just did one side because the side was leaking. And that was the last time I pumped. And I have had no pain and no leaks. Everything's good. But I was like an undersupplier. I was not an oversupplier. I was pumping 10 ounces a day. So I think that's why it was easy for me because I just didn't have like a lot of milk anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I haven't like chatted on YouTube in forever and I feel like I'm trying to get everything out from like months. <laughs> um, but if you guys have any questions, I'm hoping to make this a more routine thing. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, and I can make sure that I get to them either in the comments or I'll answer them in another video because I feel like there's just been so much time in between videos um, because of I've been so busy. So hoping to slowly get myself back into this because to get myself motivated for like YouTube, I watch other YouTube videos and I'm like, oh, I miss just like creating stuff. I miss having the memories. There's just so many things that I miss. Anyway, I am going to have some water, take my vitamins. I am still on Zoloft. I'm on 100 milligrams of Zoloft. Um, that hasn't changed since Bennett was born. Um, I was just checking my messages. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so excited to have another video up. So um, hopefully you'll see me again soon and I will see you guys later. Bye.